elevator game. Yes. Um, where do we begin with this one? It's probably going to be one of those more creepy videos, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and put a fair warning out there. This one's going to be a scary one. This one's going to be one that... Uh, First and foremost, I hope this world isn't as terrifying as the story that I'm about to go over and talk about. We're going to be talking about the elevator game in today's video while we look at this world. Uh, using this world as kind of like a platform to talk about this. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be crazy. All right, so guys, if you haven't already, subscribe. Enable post notification for regular bell. Make it go ding. Scroll down and give a like on the video. It greatly helps. And why is there a witch here already? Yep, that does not help what I was saying about this being weird. All right. Why was there a witch right at spawn with me? <clears throat> Where did that thing come from? In there, maybe? That's an odd coincidence. Oh, no. Did I just hear another witch? Yeah, I was gonna use this area for me to tell my or tell the story about the elevator game, but having second thoughts already. I'm gonna go on over here. Oh, I already feel chills creeping up on me, guys. So yeah, welcome to a new Minecraft video. One that's probably gonna be terrifying, but we're gonna do what we do. And uh, give this a quick little talk about. So what I'm gonna be doing is going over the story of an elevator game, an individual that allegedly played the elevator game, and some of the things that happened to this individual. So Without further ado, let's just dive into this. It's going to be a crazy one. All right. So first off, before I say anything else, I want to make it absolutely clear that under no circumstances should anyone play Elevator Game to Otherworld. If you're curious about it, then please just stop. If you tried it before and it didn't work, then please, please don't ever do it again. I tried it and now I'm pretty sure I'm done. Here's how it started. About a year ago, I was reading about the death of Eliza Lamb and happened upon a, a couple of websites where the elevator game and a lot of other stuff, uh, and that Eliza was playing this game prior to her disappearance. For those not familiar with the case, she was later found dead in a water tank on top of the hotel where she was last spotted just prior. She'd been seen acting really strangely on one of the building's elevators, the CCTV of it, uh, as it was easily found if you're really in if, okay okay so this person say it I don't know if you guys recall there was a case uh, quite some time ago about this lady um, yeah, she just got an elevator she was acting really weird um, people was not sure she was acting as if something was following her as if like maybe she seen the other world or something but something did not allow her to go back she was being followed by something she left the elevator only to be found in like a, a very weird water tank that's almost impossible for a person to get in somehow or a, a body to even be um, buried in um so this is what the elevator game takes place from. Now, first off, the, these villages and stuff over here look really, really cool, guys. So yeah, this is how the elevator... What does a village with this... Whoa! Giant ravine going through it, too. What kind of village is this? This is really cool, guys. So yeah, that's kind of like the elevator game, guys. How it originates. So, let me mosey on over here. Let's see how this goes. I read instructions for how to do it in a few different places. There are slightly different versions. I don't know why, and it creeped me out. I closed my browser and then honestly didn't think about it again for months until I happened to stumble upon another article about it on this very specific website in May. It contained more info on the game than I'd seen in one place before, and I became absolutely convinced the game was completely fake. Being handed around the web as a quick way to get reads from people interested in the case. The community that's obsessed with her is relentless, like they're really completely obsessed with her. I know, because my boyfriend is one of them, and that's how I came to consider playing the game myself. My boyfriend is sweet, he's kind, but he's also very into missing person's stories, and the idea of paranormal being a real thing. These are things I find mildly interesting every once in a while, but they're not always on my radar like they are for him. So one evening when he wouldn't stop 
talking about the spooky Elijah theories. I asked him if he'd stop talking if I played the game and showed him it was fake. He agreed the bed was made and that's when I knew he thought it was fake too. If he thought it was real, there was no way he would want me to play this game. <sighs> well, that little agreement of wanting to play the game might have been the biggest mistake this person made. Because apparently, once you play this game, the ghost of the lady will follow you. Now, honestly, I don't even know about talking about this is good, you know? <laughs> so my, just like, we're summoning this or something, guys. I don't know. But it's pretty creepy. Let's continue. Anyway, so I took note on the games to take it with me and identify a building where I thought I wouldn't draw attention to myself in any way that might cause me to mess up the game's order and thus be ruled invalid by my true believer boyfriend. I won't say much which building because I was supposed to be there and they didn't likely want the attention. Now, if you're familiar with the game at all, then you know there are concrete steps that you have to take in perfect order to do it right. These steps are consistent across every version of the game that I've read. The only things that aren't consistent are the consequences of doing the steps wrong, exactly what the other world is actually like. As a result, I was able to plan with confidence, so there wouldn't be any question about doing it right or not later. It took me about 20 minutes before I was able to take an elevator along. It was a new elevator. The building is fairly new, and there was absolutely nothing creepy about it. No music in the elevator, nothing. So I started the steps of the game. Here they are. That's right, guys. We're getting to the steps of the game. Now, it's probably where it's going to get weird. I don't know about this. Okay, so the first step is you enter the elevator from the first floor by yourself. If anyone else gets on, then understand that you cannot continue. You press the button on the fourth floor. You do not get out the elevator when it reaches the fourth floor. Stay in the elevator and press the button to the second floor. You do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the sixth floor. No, you do not get out at the sixth floor. Remain in the elevator and press the button to the second floor. Do not get out then either. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the 10th floor. Some have reported hearing a voice calling to them on the second floor during the middle section of the ritual. Do not reply. Do not answer in any way. Step number seven. Do not get out once you've reached the 10th floor. Stay on it and press the button for the fifth floor. She followed these steps and everything was dull up until this point. She didn't hear anything at step six when she hit the button to take it to the 10th floor. Then, step eight started, and things got very odd. It has been reported by some that a woman may enter the elevator on floor five. She may appear as a stranger who wishes to engage with you. More importantly, she may appear as someone you know. It is important that you do not acknowledge her in word or glance. If the elevator you are in is reflective, then stare at the floor or the buttons only. A woman did get on the fifth floor. The problem is that I never had an opportunity to not look at her because I was looking at the lights above the doors telling me which floor I was on and it startled me when the elevator suddenly stopped. But then I was already looking at the door and she was getting on. This was so stupid of me. It was so obvious that I should have been facing the corner where the elevator buttons are, not staring at the lights telling me which floor I was on the whole time. I immediately thought, okay, no biggie. This is, this is fake anyways. But I have to tell you, I was extremely nervous and I hit the button for the first floor and the elevator started moving again. I made sure to look down at the floor. That's when she started talking. No, 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 no. That is a big no for me, guys. Can you imagine doing this ritual and then boom, that happens and then you're just like, oh, I messed up. This isn't good. This is actually real. It is not looking good for her, guys. This is not looking good. This is why you shouldn't try these rituals. I'm telling you guys. There's some creepy stuff here. There's some real creepy stuff. All right. She was a tiny person. Uh, I'd seen that she got on. And pretty. Her hair was light blonde. And she had striking green eyes and freckles. She started talking about how there'd just been an accident on the fifth floor. And I asked if I would go back. And asked if I would go back up to help her. This was totally nonsensical. She had just gotten on the elevator in hopes that someone might be there and then go ask for help? I didn't speak. It was too weird. No way I was going to speak to her. She said again, and this time she sounded like she was getting angry. Again, I ignored her. The third time was very different. Ooh. So the lady apparently starts getting very, very aggressive with her, telling her to go back to the fifth floor. 
terrifying, guys. Terrifying. But that is kind of like the initiation. Uh, the story later pre proceeds forth and... You know... The elevator uh, messes up more and then um, things unfold. And now even to this day, she feels as if she's being haunted. Um, very weird, guys. I don't know, but I would not try the elevator game in a million years. I'm just saying I would not... This world's awesome here on Minecraft, though. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to quickly read that uh, for you guys. Uh, a nice little initiative story into the ways of the elevator game. Scary as it is. Indeed. Why did I throw that glass bottle? I have no clue, dude. Anyways, it was the... I mean, these these things the witches had. I don't want to. I don't want to have items that a witch had. Are you kidding? But anyways, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe today. You know, nibble post notifications, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, most importantly, guys, we got videos every single day. What was that? Whoo! Did you guys see that arrow go right by my face? Like I was like, what was that? Jeez, what a way to end the video. Ooh, we got a bow and an arrow. Eh. I'll see you guys.